Have you noticed that glow is the most used effects in sports poster design world? Yes, so that's what we're going to create and I'm going to show you a very simple technique to create that FX using Adobe Photoshop. So if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And if you're looking for this PSD file, this is available on my Patreon and there are lots to cover inside the tutorial section. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. all right so here we are in photoshop and uh, very first thing let's create a work camp and for that press ctrl and uh press ctrl and n and i'm going for 4 by 5 resolution to 300 color mode to rgb bitrate to this time 16 <laughs> and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create and then right after that let's drag and drop this uh, player image right over here yes let's make it a little bigger ctrl t and maybe let's keep maybe somewhere in the center somewhere right over here and after that let's go on very bottom add a solid and let's give a kind of darker color and then right after that let's add a text and let's give the color a uh, kind of uh, brighter yellow color maybe let's go more toward orange a little bit yep somewhere around here and then press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger let's keep it just like that and let's keep it under this layer now very first thing let's do some color adjustment for this main player image so select this layer go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's go to the basic tab and let's drop down the highlights uh, maybe increase the shadows and then let's increase the clarity let's increase uh, the texture and from detail tab let's increase the color noise reduction just a little touch and the noise reduction too and uh, to compensate that let's increase the sharpening a little bit now let's go to the channel mixture and uh, from hue let's change uh, the red hue more towards this side let's do for orange too yep let's kind of give kind of reddish fleshy tone on the skin and let's keep it like that and let's click on ok so let's work on text first and uh, we're gonna add some glow on text and the most easiest way is adding a Gaussian blur. So for that, let's uh, make a copy of this text layer. Let's convert it as a smart object. And then let's go to filter. Let's go to blur and let's add a Gaussian blur. And 30 seems too much for now. Let's add kind of 10 and let's click on OK. And let's change the blending mode to screen let's add a one more copy Control j and let's go on that smart filter tab and let's double click this caution blur and let's increase this maybe yeah maybe around 33 looks good to me and let's make a one more copy Control j and let's change the gaussian blur to maybe kind of 41 okay i think that looks good to me and let's click on okay and now let's work on the main image so let's go over here add a level let's drop down the highlights just like so and let's click on clip to layer so this level gonna affect this specific layers only and let's go over level click on that uh, layer max option go to brush and make sure the color is black and we're gonna erase uh, some of these effects right over here and let's uh, drop down the opacity maybe around 33 maybe let's change the flow to around 33 too and let's add some highlights so yep this is how I do it and 
maybe let's increase the opacity a little bit more yep yeah and let's create some highlights right over here and let's add one right over here too let's create some right over here okay so here we go so this is before and this is after and then let's add some glow on edges too so let's create a new solid and let's give a kind of warmer color uh, just like that and let's right click click on create clipping max let's change the blending mode to overlay you know like for color let's go for kind of yeah let's go for this yellow and yeah just like that and let's fill the uh, color with black and let's go to brush and make sure the color is white and let's add some uh, is glow right over here And let's make a one more copy control J and again by right click clip uh, create clipping max and let's change the color to kind of more brighter color yep just like that and let's fill it with black and let's go to brush and let's add some uh, pretty bright color and edges and let's increase the highlights let's increase the opacity to 200 percent and let's add some really bright spots right over here and maybe let's drop down the opacity like so and maybe let's create some highlights right around here And the very most important thing that I like to add is environment. So let's do that. So let's go on very bottom, add a new layer, go to brush and let's go for a environmental brush. So I'm going to use uh, this one and let's change the color to kind of uh, yellow, but let's go for kind of a little darker side. Yep, just like that. And let's change the opacity, maybe like around 100%. Yep. And let's change the color to kind of brighter color. Let's change the opacity a little bit. Yep, just like so. And let's create one more layer. And let's go for kind of brighter color. and let's keep it all the way to the top and let's change the blending more to screen and i guess this is too much let's drop down the opacity just like so and let's add a new layer on very top and let's change the color to kind of darker color and let's add some volume fog on the bottom
let's let's keep it like that and let's go on very top let's add a color lookup and from here and i'm going to use uh, this lut so select this one and click on load and so this is what we got and maybe let's tweak some of these parts let's drop down the opacity maybe somewhere around here And now let's drag and drop uh, this overlay on very top. And let's keep it all the way to the top. Change the blending mode to screen. Control T. Let's flip it on this side. And let's keep it somewhere. Over here. And then let's merge everything, Control shift alt and e and let's add a new solid on bottom. For now, let's give it a kind of uh, pure white color, but we're going to tweak that later and select uh, the merge layer, create a layer max, go to brush and make sure the color is black. And I'm going to use this brush and let's make it bigger. Let's add stroke and then let's change the color to kind of darker color. Yep, just like that. And let's add some more text. around here and let's change the color to kind of a darker color yeah let's keep it kind of this color and now let's merge everything Control shift alt and e and go to filter and let's go to blur gallery and let's add a mm, tilt shift and let's click on ok and let's make a one more copy control j control go to filter and again let's add a blur and let's add a motion blur and let's add some right over here let's create a layer max go to brush let's go for a general brush and let's erase like some of these parts And let's move this uh, text layer on very top. Actually, I should have uh, put that text later, but anyway. And that's the final. And when you do your design work, try to add some blur, motion blur, and add some environment to make some separation. And that will definitely gonna change your design look. So with that note, I'd like to wrap up for today's video. And if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Till then, be creative. Bye-bye.